gathering is used for a variety of reasons. One is to help ease a sleeve's top edge into its armhole. Gathering helps make skirts, shirts, ruffles, and a good many embellishment methods. I'm going to show you several ways to gather. The method you use depends on the length you're gathering, the fabric you're using, where the gathering is located, and its purpose. The basic principle of gathering is to slide fabric along the thread. By holding the bobbin thread taut, you can slide a basted fabric along the thread until it bunches up and gathers. If the fabric is heavy and the thread is long, it can often break and cause you to lose all of your gathers. So here are a few ways to prevent this problem and make your gathering projects trouble-free. The most basic gathering method is to sew two rows of basting stitches, which are long straight stitches, about one-fourth inch apart along the garment edge you are gathering. Set your machine for the longest stitch length. If the gathers will insert into a seam, the first basting row should be about two threads width outside the seam allowance, and the second row is a scant one-fourth inch inside the seam allowance. The second row of stitching is the insurance policy in case one breaks. But it also does something else. It creates a narrow strip where the two rows keep the fabric from twisting. You pull the bobbin thread because it always seems to move easier than the top thread. I think that's because of all the looping the top thread goes through when making a stitch, which I explained in How a Stitch is Made in Season 1. Push the fabric along the thread until it reaches the desired length. While we're at this point, I want to show you something else. How to sew a gathered fabric to a flat fabric. You need to do this sometimes for cuffs, waistbands, or other design inserts. To sew a gathered edge to a flat edge, I always pin perpendicular to the seam I'm about to sew. I learned to do this back in a day when we were sewing with mechanical machines that would glance off pins as it was sewing over them. Today's computerized machines are tighter and stronger and aren't at all happy when they hit pins, so I don't recommend sewing over them. But they serve another purpose here. By being perpendicular to the stitching, you can adjust the gathering between the pins without removing them. Align the raw edges, adjust your gathers evenly, and to fit within the allotted space as you pin the two layers together. Then, with the gathered piece on top, stitch along the seam line, which should be between the two basting rows, removing the pins as you come to them and adjusting gathers as needed. Depending on your project, you may want to finish the cuff or waistband and then press and top stitch the seam. An easy way to gather heavier fabrics is to sew a zigzag stitch over a heavy thread, being careful not to catch the thread in the stitching. Then you can secure one end of the thread and pull the other to gather the fabric. When you're happy with the gathering disbursement, stitch over the zigzag to lock the gathers in place. You can always turn back to our old friend elastic to get a perfect gather. When you use elastic, you can get evenly spaced gathers without any thread pulling. I use the clear elastic and mark the length I want the fabric gathered on the unstretched elastic. Then, stretch the elastic to the length of the fabric as you sew. When you're finished, the fabric draws up with the elastic and is gathered to size. If you have long lengths to gather, you'll have to mark your elastic in sections that are matched to corresponding marks on your fabric because there is a limit to how far you can stretch elastic as you sew. With lightweight clear elastic sewn on the wrong side of the fabric, you can sew it directly into a seam without adding too much bulk, which is good because gathering adds a degree of its own bulk. 